Hey, it's Raymond with Go Time Training. I'm back at you with three trainer tips today. So these three trainer tips are really looking at considering we're working with somebody with heart disease or high blood pressure. So as a larger demographic of people that we'd be working with is increasing to deal with older adults and people with different health conditions that you need to be aware of um, so you can potentially decrease risk of having some kind of situation happen. We don't really want that to happen. So three considerations that you should be worried about with working with clients with heart disease or high blood pressure is one, try to avoid too much isometric exercises or contractions. Okay, so there's lots of different isometric contractions. A push-up could be considered isometric with the core, and I know a lot of people do planks. So moderate would probably be okay, but if you're doing prolonged or, or sustainable isometric attractions, this is, can cause a high spike in blood pressure with somebody with high blood pressure or heart disease. This could be a, a no good situation. So avoid isometric attractions or prolong high intensity isometric attractions. Two, avoid inversion. So inversion is gonna be basically upside down, right? So most of your clients won't be doing too much inversion, but if they're doing like a high bridge or say a wall push up. People with uh, heart disease or high blood pressure, this might be a contradicted thing to do for them. Once again, it's gonna slow down heart rate, but it's gonna increase blood pressure. And so um, these things could cause strokes or other things that you want to obviously avoid with your clients and keep them safe. Um, also, you can see a, a different spike in heart rate. So inversion, upside down, try not to do too many things like that. Number three is working with people that start with heart disease. You probably want to try to keep monitor their heart rate. So getting a heart rate monitor with a telemetry strap is a good idea. That way they can wear that and then you can actually check with your um, watch and monitor and you can actually see their heart rate the whole time. So if they have heart disease and they're new to working out, they might only want to do about 30 beats per minute above their resting heart rate. If they've been exercising for a while, they can probably get up to about 85% of the heart rate reserve. So doing the carbonium formula and kind of figuring that out. Um, if you don't know what that is, then as being a personal trainer, we might step to in uh, next videos and we'll, we'll kind of help you figure those out. But 85% about heart rate reserve or a little bit below their maximum heart rate, you might keep on that, or if they have a doctor recommendation. So regardless of any of these things, if you're working with somebody with heart disease and, and high blood pressure, you might want to get medical clearance to their doctor and also talk to their doctor about recommendations and co-managing your client. So always safety first. But these three tips should help you work out with them, keep your clients safe, but also keep them progressing and moving and also making their health better. So thank you.